Now we're going to get into some stuff you've probably seen in your book. And uh, sometimes you see these uh, derivations and they just kind of throw you off and you're like, I'm not going to look at this anymore. Work with me here. I'm going to teach you the definition of a derivative and it's going to make absolute sense to you. So you may have seen this in your book. It may not have been as clear. I hope to be clear with you here. Okay. What if you have a graph here like this? Okay. And there's some function on it. Looks like this. Okay. Here is a point. I'm going to call it P. Point P. Okay. Nothing too crazy so far, right? Uh, this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Okay. Now at the point P, the x value of the point P is the uh, value A. So at x equals A, that's the x value of this point P here. Okay. Now, there's also another point here, a little bit farther down the way in the x direction, the point A plus H. Okay? So here's the point A. I go a little bit farther, some distance H, right? And I get to the point A plus H. That's nothing, nothing too big of a deal. So I go up here. So I've got an intersect with this curve a little bit farther down. Okay? Now, what I'm trying to do, okay, in the, at the end of the day, what I'm trying to do, I'm not going to hold it from you, what I'm trying to do is define the derivative of this curve at this point P. I want to know what the derivative of it is. And I already told you the derivative is the slope of the line tangent to the, to the curve. So the line tangent to this curve might look something like that. Okay. And what I need to do is I need to find out how to calculate the slope of this line and then that will be the derivative of this curve at the point P. Okay. So that's what I need to calculate. So let me ask you, what is the general formula for the slope of a line? The slope of a line. So don't think calculus here, think algebra. What did you define as the slope of the line? Well, you'll probably remember it was the rise over the run. In other words, you calculate how far up you go and how far over you go, and you divide those numbers and you get what you call the slope. Okay? Um, we also wrote that as, um, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you take the difference, you take any two points in the line, you find the difference in y, how far up, and you put it here, and the difference in x, which is how far over, between the same two points, you put it here, you divide those numbers, boom, you have the slope. So in order to find the slope of this line, we need to use this formula. Okay, we need to use this formula. I'm going to help you use that formula. So let's look at this. At this point, what's the distance between these two points here? Not between these two points, but between these two dashed lines. The distance here, I already told you, was h, because this is a and this is a plus h um, on the x-axis. So the distance between these two lines is h. Okay. So if I draw me a little triangle in here, which I'm going to do in green to make it clear, here's a little triangle in here, like this. Okay, so you have a little triangle built in there. Okay. Well, look here. If you were to calculate the slope of a line kind of going through here, through these two points here, you could do it by looking at the rise here and the run here. Now, that wouldn't be exactly what we're trying to find with this line, but if the line were going through these two points, we would do it. We look at this rise and this run. So let's look at what those rise and runs are. We already know what the run is, the run over in the x direction. That's just h, so we have the answer. 